Welcome to the Plant Pathology Diagnostic Lab here at the Hermiston Agricultural Research and Extension Center. I'm Cassandra Sago and I'm a lab tech here and I will be taking you through all the steps that our samples go through after they come in through the door. We get a variety of different plants that come in through our door to get diagnosed. We go through plenty of potatoes, but we also get plenty of other vegetables like carrots and beans. We diagnose some trees and ornamentals and also some diseases that are spread by the insect vectors here in the Columbia Basin. We use a variety of different testing methods, ranging from the traditional culturing techniques for fungi and bacteria to the more advanced molecular techniques that use pathogen DNA sequences to identify pathogens and diagnose diseases. When the clients come into the lab, we look through their samples and use any kind of symptoms on the plants themselves to help us diagnose, as well as getting as much information as possible from the grower. We like to know about crop rotation history because that can have an effect on the plants that are currently planted. We need to know some irrigation frequency and types just in case there's anything with watering. And chemical and fertilizer schedules are important. If there's any other unusual occurrences that the growers have noticed, we like to know those too because they could definitely be helpful in diagnosing the problem. After the initial examination, we compile a list of possible suspects and set up the required isolation techniques and tests. For many of the fungi that come in, we take lesions from different parts of the plant and plate them on the various culturing media that we have to encourage fungal growth. As the fungus grows, we can identify it based on certain structural characteristics like their conidia. For some fungi and bacteria, and for all of our virus suspects, we extract nucleic acids, like DNA and RNA, from the symptomatic tissue. We use these nucleic acids to perform the molecular tests. These tests look for genes that are specific to different pathogens. Once we have a complete or partial nucleic acid sequence, we can compare it to other sequences in public databases. This comparison helps us identify the disease-causing organism. Once we get the results from our testing, we can make a list of recommendations on how to control the disease. Depending on our client's needs, we can relay this information by a phone conversation, email, or a written report. For more information on how to collect and submit your samples, please visit the Plant Pathology Laboratory website.